All right, one of my favorite movies, well, books slash movies, is uh, The Hobbit. Um, this one is, uh, well, this one's called Smog Stout. This is The Hobbit Smog Stout from Fish Brewing in Olympia, West, uh, Washington. Sorry, Washington. Sorry, there's a plane going over somewhere. I hear it, but I can't see it because it's too foggy or something, cloudy. Anyway, um, like I said, this is The Smog Stout, and it says Smog Stout with chili peppers, uh, Imperial Stout beer, so that'd be kind of cool. Hopefully the chili peppers. Let's see. I always get disappointed when I get some with, with chili peppers in it. You know, it, it, so I'm assuming it's going to have a little kick to it, but most of them I have have had uh, really didn't. So hopefully, hopefully this one does. And it is smog, so I'm assuming they want it a little hot. I don't know if you can hear that, man. We got some kind of. I assume F22. We got F22s flying all the time. Too cloudy up there. Can't see them. Anyway, so uh, yeah, let's get to this. Oh, 65 IBUs. Cool, they put that right on the thing. Uh, 8.5 by volume. And obviously this is a 22 ounce bomber. Um, yeah, it's got, it's got a nice little story here about smog and stuff. And when I say smog, but of course in the movies they say smog. So whatever. Um, it does say MGM, New Line Cinema, Warner Brothers. So they got all the licensing. Uh, my, my question is, how did a small little brewing company out of Washington State uh, get this. I don't know, but uh, hopefully hopefully it's good. Let's go ahead and pop it open. All right, popped it open. And it's part of the Fishtail Ales, I guess, is what it says on the top of it. Oh, yep, not get it off all the way. Hey. There we go. Didn't want to come off of there. Um, there's the cap. Hopefully you can see that. Fishtail Ales. So, and there is a big series of these suckers. Um, I think there's at least three, if not more than that. It's been for this thing, by the way. And we got our, uh, our car golf carts tra traveling down the road. Man, pour is really, really dark, man. Really, really dark. Nice and creamy. Ooh, that looks very, very nice. Poured it real good. So look at that. Good uh, a finger and a half ahead. Man, these planes are driving me crazy. They get a lot of them. I love the sound. Yeah, I mean, I love the sound of freedom, so I got no, no problem there, but... Sounds like it's going to run into my house. I wish you could see these clouds. Man, these clouds are... Man, these clouds are rolling in. You can't even see the top of the condo back behind us. Man. But then again, today is um, a Friday, which I'm usually not off on a Friday, but uh, starting next week is our spring break. I'm off for a week next week uh, because I work at schools. So our school district closes down to help save money. Man, that's something that's loud. That's the magic bird's going. Yeah, that's, that's no F-22 there. That's like a, uh, I want to say an F-4. We do have some F-4 drones here at Tyndall Air Force Base. Um, it's kind of cool. They're unmanned. Well, for the most part, they do have trainers in there. It's like a trainer, but uh, most time they're, uh, they do unmanned missions with an F-4 uh, Phantom Fighter, which is kind of cool. You can always make them out, though, because uh, the tail is bright orange, and the end, end of the wing tips there are, are bright orange, too, I guess, to, uh, to designate a... Uh, a, um, a drone. But anyway, uh, back to the beer. That's what you're here for, right? Very, very black. Uh, you know, I want to say maybe a, 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 a brown, but it's way dark. So it's going to be a dark, dark, dark brown, almost black. Um, a good, uh, wow, dark beige head, nice and creamy. And like I said, you saw it was a, at least a finger and a half ahead, and it's, it's keeping it pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and smell it, shall we? Yep, definitely chocolate, man. You get chocolate more than anything. Right at, right at the front, man. You get that chocolate busted right in your nose. Ah, nice, sweet, dark chocolate. Ooh. I'm trying to see if I see smell any uh, any heat from the chili peppers, and I don't really smell any heat. Now, I did let this warm up a little bit. Probably not enough, and I'm thinking you know, by the time I get further down the bottom, I'll uh, it'll be, you know, the perfect temperature. doesn't say on here what temperature, but, you know, stouts you want to go probably, what, at least 55 or so degrees to get a good uh, you know taste of all the all the stuff but um, anyway couldn't wait for this one. let's go ahead and taste it yeah well definitely a, a the chocolate taste right up front 
Uh, you do get you know a coffee, a slight coffee taste, mostly chocolate though, but I do get a slight hint of, of pepper in there. Yeah, you do get some, you get a little bit of heat. I mean, it's not hot, but you can tell it's there. Um, the spiciness from it, wow, that's good. Um, like I said, I haven't had too many uh, beers with chili pepper that I really, really enjoyed. I mean, there were some I, I enjoyed, but didn't get the the heat or the spice from the uh, the chili pepper, but this one's got a little bit. I can actually taste it in there. Hmm, that's very nice. Very nice. Good lacing up on the glass. You can see the lacing up there. And at what I say it was, 8.5, 8.5%. I don't really feel the kick of the alcohol. I don't, you know, how you can kind of feel it coming out your nose. I don't really get that. Don't get the taste of uh, alcohol. It's not real boozy, not real sweet. Kind of dry at first, but then you do get, yeah, it's almost like it's, it's dry when you first drink it. Let me, let me try again. Take a swallow, it dries out. You know, and then your mouth waters a little bit there at the end. So you do get a slight little dryness and then, you know, then it's not so dry, but great, great stuff. Um, yeah, if you like a chocolatey beer, slight chocolate. I mean, it's not overpowering. It's not like it's a major chocolate. It's not like a chocolate stout. Um, but you get the chocolate taste. You get slight coffee, maybe uh, espresso type of taste. But yeah, definitely get those. Uh, I, I do get the pepper. I do get the chili up in there. Hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff from uh, from Fish Brewing. Never heard of Fish Brewing. Fish Brewing out of Olympia, Wisconsin. I keep on saying Wisconsin. Olympia, Washington. Um, distributed by BevLink LLC. Of course, there's got to be some LLC all up in there. Uh, it says The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Smaug Stout. Um, let me read this right now, real quick. It says The Dragon Smaug. Uh, after escaping captured by the dangerous woodland elves, the dwarves journeyed to Lake Town and finally to the lonely mountain itself. Ooh where they must face the greatest danger of all, a creature more terrifying than any before, which will test not only the depth of their courage, but the limits of their friendship and the wisdom of the journey itself, the dragon smog. Yep, yeah, when, uh, when I was young, wasn't much of a reader. I didn't really read. Matter of fact, when I, when, I, um, when I had to do book reports and that kind of thing, I'd write them out. I'd do the book report. But when a teacher said, okay, come before the class and speak, I was like, I'll take the F. Because I, yeah, I, I didn't, I, to, still to this day, I'm not a public, public speaker at all. If you can probably tell from these videos, I stutter and stammer all over the place. Ugh. Ooh, yeah, all right. Um, so I'm not a public speaker at all. Um, so I would always take the F. But anyway, back, back to the books. Um, this was really the only book that I really read that I loved and I'd read a couple times. I read it once in high school. I read it a few years back. Of course, seen the movies. Believe it or not though, have not seen the latest one. Uh, stupid me, for whatever reason. We, I guess we were doing something when it came out. So I didn't get to see it, but I did see this one. This was from The Desolation of Smog. This is the second one. Uh, so uh, anyway, good series. I mean, a good, good book, uh, good movie. Great beer, I liked it. Uh, ratings, I'll go ahead and rate this sucker pretty high. I mean, I like this. Uh, I'm going to go up 90. We'll, we'll go 90. We'll go 90 with it. Give it a nice solid A-. minus. Um, like I said, it does. It's exactly what it says. Um, you know, it's a, uh, a stout with chili pepper. So it's an imperial stout beer. 8.5, 65 IBUs. It tastes like chocolate, coffee, and chili pepper. So there you go. Peace.